So if I save that then, let's check out what happens. So now we've got more money in the checking account. That's good. Now I go every time I enter something, I go to my financial statements and just check it out to see what's being built as we go. Run in the report to refresh it. I'm gonna go into the cash account and we see now we've got the deposit that happened. There's our beginning balance we entered at the end of the last time period. And there's our 65,000. It's entered with a deposit form. The other side's going to the owner investments. If I go into it, it's not gonna take me to the register, but to a deposit form. So that was a quick kind of deposit form entry that's a little bit faster in my opinion, oftentimes, especially if you're entering multiple deposits at one time for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and close that out and then go back to the report. Scroll down, equity now has this investment account. So, so it's in the investment account in equity and uh, it's increasing equity because equity represents kind of what's owed to the owner and we put more money in. So you would expect the owner to be, to be receiving it back at some point in time, assets went up and then the amount that is applied to the owner went up. Now note that in general accounting, you would think that the investment account and draws account would close out to the equity uh, periodically, possibly yearly. And you would think maybe QuickBooks does that automatically. It doesn't. It only does that automatic close out for the income statement. So if you don't close this out, it'll just keep on accumulating upwards forever, which isn't a big deal. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't really matter. But if you're trying to think about how much you invested into the company in a year, and you want that to be represented here, you're gonna have to close it out, make a journal entry at the end of the year to close it out to the owner's equity account in a similar way as net income is closed out automatically by the system.